If the delegates of this Congress are in agreement, we will now proceed to the election of the incumbent FIFA president for the 2023-2027 term of office by acclamation. I'm now calling on the Congress to give a round of applause to elect Gianni Infantino as the FIFA president for the period from 2023 to 2027. Mr. Infantino is thus elected the FIFA president for a second term of office for the period from 2023 to 2027. Congratulations, Mr. Infantino. Please, it's your stage. <laughs> Thank you very much. I, I, I prefer to stay seated so uh, I don't risk to, to fall down. Um, let me simply thank all of you, my family, my wife, my friends, my team, all of you, the FIFA team, the council team, the committees team, the member associations team, the legends team. I would have loved to be a legend as well. <laughs> All those who, um, who love me, and I know there are so many, and those who hate me, I know there are few, I love you all, of course, today especially. <laughs> we love you, President. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, be, being, uh, of course, President of FIFA is um, an incredible, incredible honor. Um, it is an incredible, incredible privilege as well. And it is also a great, great responsibility. I'm uh, truly humbled and touched by, uh, by your support. And uh, I simply promise you that uh, I will continue serving FIFA, serving football all over the world, serving all 211 member associations of FIFA. Leadership is uh, obviously about uh, listening and learning and you always learn and I think I'm learning every day and then leadership is also about acting and I'm certainly there to act so you can uh, continue to trust on uh, my commitment and uh, the only thing I'm asking you is for this, my second term, to continue working hard together to unite the world with football. Thank you very much. Beppe Marotta told Sky Italy last night the loan was for one season, so on June the 30th, Regardless of how well he plays, he'll go back to Chelsea. This has been an unprecedented season. I'm referring, of course, to the World Cup. Lukaku hasn't found the fitness he needs to play his best football. He's still not at his best. Or the player we got to see in years gone by. Well, Lukaku was top scorer for Inter as they won the Serie A title in 2021 before moving to Chelsea. However, injury really hampered his return to Italy. He's only featured 18 times across all competitions this season, starting 10 times in those games. He's only managed five goals and he's on for his lowest scoring season since 2012. Well, Lukaku's return to Chelsea will add another big name player to their already inflated squad. Kai Havertz, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, Armando Brozier and David Fofana 
have all had the number nine role at times this season and nobody has reached double figures so far.